Hi there guys and welcome back to another Supreme DPS guide. This one is going to be the first of a few guides regarding how to trio Virago efficiently. In this video I'll be covering Purple Bomb Phase 3. This phase of this particular rotation is often considered the most annoying to try and do in trio. Due to the nature of this phase I'm pretty much going to be talking through the base roll because it's the most important and it really determines the speed of the phase. Now first off, everyone on the team should do a Wild Magic and then Asphyxiate on the first segment. After you've done that, you then want to be building up back to Sunshine. Key things to be remembering whilst when you're trying to Sunshine are the position of you versus the other two members of your team, as well as how easy it will be once you Sunshine to get back into your Sunshine to do the main uh, little next bit of DPS as such. After you've done this, you want to build up to 80% Adrenaline using your Adren Pot as well in your Sunshine. In the video, I don't actually detonate because I didn't have enough time to and I missed my Vigor. I didn't get my Vigor switch, but if you get to 80% before his last arm has got into the purple bomb section, detonate and then as he lifts up, release the detonate, do wild magic, voke it, asphyx, and then de-breath to cancel. As soon as you've done the dragon breath, immediately walk under him and start walking. Okay. And use your anticipation almost instantly because you're kind of relying on timing for your anticipation to come back. After this, you want to make sure that you use your freedom. Basically, the easiest way to explain it is by watching the video, but you'll see that I, every two or three seconds, I step back and auto-cast Virago. Now, the reason for doing this is that it allows me to keep walking Virago whilst not being stunned and hit by the two or three K. Now, after the three blues, the idea is that you have your anticipate back. In the clip, you see, you can see that if you time your anticipate right, you do. However, Josh, my friend here, often you try and accommodate for not having it back and the other DPS will try and take over walking whilst having not used their anticipate. But here I was fine because you, as you see, despite the fact that Braga is actually on him, I'm still underneath and I get hit by the equivalent stun effect, but I had anticipate up, so it would have been fine. A few things to take note of simply are if Virago turns off you for any reason, try and invoke it back instantly. Get a feel for when he's going to do that and the sort of tick, so just you're going to have to try and experiment with that. A quick note on what the other DPS should be doing if you're not the base. So basically you want to be using your thresholds as much as possible and some people like to build up to Onslaught and to do that as well once they know where Virago's walking to. You can stand in, predict where he's coming to so your Onslaught doesn't get cancelled. It is also worth noting there is some luck involved as to when Virago evokes off you and goes on to other people. If he does it too early, too quick, you can't really do anything about it apart from just let him fire blues and try and do your best to walk it. It is also finally worth noting that you're only able to free yourself from Virago's quadrants by directly being south or east of Virago as he closes his arms into those sections. That's all for this one guys, like and subscribe for more videos and I hope to see you in the next one.